whole journey of self-realization that finally led me up to facing one of my biggest challenges, one of my biggest struggles. For those of you who know me, you've already heard this story, but for those of you who don't, welcome to my journey. I've had years of gaining weight, 50 pounds, losing weight, 50 pounds. Being there for about a minute, gaining weight, 50 pounds again, working to get that 50 pounds off again. Be there for a minute and I put it right back on. So I hit a point in my life where I said to myself, why is it that I know what I need to be doing? I can tell you inside and out how to eat right, how to exercise, how to get to that point. I've done it. I know how to do it. But how come whenever I'm there, why am I all or nothing? Why is it work, 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 clean eating, exercising all the time, get to my goal, bam, automatically start to go back in the other direction. Why do I do that? Why do I know what to do, but I don't do it for myself consistently? Why is that? And I want to start a family. I want to have some little babies running around here. And I didn't want to be that example to my kids. I didn't want my kids to watch mommy's weight go up 50 pounds, down 50 pounds, up 50 pounds, down 50 pounds. I didn't want my kids picking up those silent vibrations that come out with the chaos that was going on in my head whenever I went to eat food. I wanted to have my peace around food. I wanted to feel in control of my life. I wanted to be able to take what I know and stick with it consistently. I wanted to love myself enough to do that. And I wanted to set that example for my kids. I didn't want my kids 30 years later to be up 50 pounds, down 50 pounds, up 50 pounds, down 50 pounds, because that's what they saw their mom do. Feeling like they don't have control over the choices that they made because that's what they saw their mom do. I didn't want to do that. So although I wasn't ready to do it for myself, I was ready to do it for my kids. I didn't want to have um, difficulties getting pregnant. I didn't want to have uh, difficulties keeping a uh, healthy weight while I was pregnant. And I didn't want to have difficulties getting the weight back off after I was pregnant. And now that I'm in my 30s and just now thinking about having kids, if I want multiple kids, we're talking back-to-back -back pregnancies. And for anybody who's been through that before, it's not always the easiest thing to maintain that healthy, balanced weight. And especially after having consecutive kids. I didn't want that struggle. So I said, okay, there was a challenge that came around, a 24-week challenge. 24 weeks, that's two weeks shy of six months, for those of you doing the math right now. 24-week challenge to, to um, cleanse my body of toxins, to nutritionally replenish my body, to exercise, to do what I needed to do in order to meet my goals physically, and also to see how much I could change myself internally. And this was the first time in my life that I signed up to lose weight without having a weight loss goal. I didn't care how much weight I lost. I didn't care what size I was. I decided in this divine perfection that I believe so much in, if everything in it has a specific purpose and goes exactly how it's supposed to, and everything is so significant and is perfection in its own right, if I am a part of this whole big thing, I must be perfect too. I realized that there wasn't another Chrissy Key that you could put beside me and be like, yeah, see, see this Chrissy, her thighs are too big and her stomach's got a little bit too much gushiness around it. And um, yeah, all of that needs to change. You couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. When I realized that I was comparing myself to all the Jennifers and Heathers and Lisas and, and Melissas in the world, when I realized I was preparing, comparing myself to two different things, yeah, we're both female, yeah, we're both about the same height, yeah, we're both, you know, uh, human beings, but we're not the same person. I was designed by this creator exactly how I needed to be in my own perfection, and I was making it wrong. I was saying this body needs to be thinner, this body needs to be fitter, this body needs to be toner. Some of that, I'll, I will get there, yes. But I was making now wrong. And when I started to look in the mirror and get past the reflection that I saw and only see 